What's going on all you lovely people out there? Yes, you read the title correctly. This, in this box here that I received moments ago, is a Rurock Atlas 2.0. Now, if you're not familiar, today is January 24th, which means that these dudes came out with a motorcycle helmet that was awesome for the first one, and then six months later, they have version two and supposedly have changed all the additions to the things that we wanted in the first one that you guys complained about and that needed to get upgraded. And now we have the second one. It's kind of nuts. So, uh, it's freezing outside, as you can tell with the gear. Uh, so we can't ride because who wants to ride in the freezing cold and rain? Thanks, Georgia. So, I figure we'll do an unboxing because I'm excited. I want to see the helmet and that way I get to, I get to see it. I don't have to wait on it. So, all I've done is open these flaps. Also, check it out. Pew. We got a we got a top-down camera. All right, here we go. I'm just I'm just gonna get into this because I'm ready for this. Elijah, look at the this. When I saw the card, is actually what told me it was an Atlas 2.0 because I was like, I didn't expect a Rock box today, and then this shows up, and I was like, oh my god, I need an unboxing. Okay, let's. From what I can tell, same box as Atlas 1.0? 1, 1. Do we call this 1.0? Okay, anyway, ready? On your mark, set. Oh, it's still in the bag. We got our visor and the helmet. Okay, feels... We got extra stuff in here. Like, look, you got that. Oh, look, there's no tool. Something I know. Okay, box is gone. Nobody cares about the box. We're all here for the helmet and the... The sticky pads. I don't know which one this is. I don't, what is this? Oh, they sent a shockwave. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Rock. This is their little Bluetooth integrated uh, shockwave system, which is really cool. It integrates into the helmet and doesn't take up any space. Here it, oh my goodness. Look at that. Dude, this green is the exact same green as our uh, right back rebuild Panigale that we're gonna give away. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. So we've got emergency release straps, right? That's cool. This looks different. This uh, padding right here. We've got the same situation going on in the bag. This is where the shockwave system goes. So nothing has changed back there, it doesn't look like. Huge deal about, like my, my least favorite part of the Atlas 2 1.0 was that the visor had a tool that you had to use to remove it. And now, there's a little twisty boy. I don't know how that works. Oh, yes fam. So with the first helmet, my honestly main thing and main issue was, with the entire helmet was the visor. It just kind of like moved up and down and depending on how tight you made the sides was how hard or easy it was to move up and down, but now, we got clicks. We even let's get this uh let's get this boy off the front. So now we have pin locks. We've got the little shield things you can put in there. Oh my gosh, that's so legit. Okay, I want to figure out how to open this now. Okay, so here's what we got. We have upgraded airflow in the front that can lock. We have a upgraded comfort liner. We have these emergency straps that I showed you guys a minute ago. We have, we still have that Fidlock buckle. So this Fidlock buckle, by the way, after riding with an Atlas for a while, you start to really love this thing. So it's like a little, it just magnetizes in and all you have to do is pull a little red tab. That's incredible if you've never ridden with that before. Bluetooth access. Okay, so how do you, how do I get into this thing? Okay, lift visor, so I think, to remove this, I have to lift the visor and then I can twist or something. I want to be super careful so I don't break this thing. Oh! Just like that? Is it seriously that easy? Interesting. So my, my baby hands aren't strong enough. I mean, hell, we're doing an unboxing. Let's, what, I think this is probably a black shield. It is, thank you Rurock for sending a shield that people actually want to put on their helmets. It's on. There it is. Check that out, 
Holy crap, dude. So honestly, what it looks like is they upgraded a couple small things and did a major improvement on the visor, which, like I told you guys, from the first one was the major issue. Oh, and you can even tell that the visor fits in around the helmet. If you guys have seen an, uh, the first Atlas, you'll know about this. But the visor right around here fits so much better. Like look when it's shut. Can you guys tell around there and around the front? What a freaking upgrade, man. And only in like six months. That's absolutely insane. So obviously in this video, I'm not gonna tell you guys about the helmet cause I haven't ridden in it. So I don't really know how good it is, but what I can tell you is it's just as light as the first one and it looks like they fixed all the issues that the first one had, which is super exciting. I'm going to put a review out about it whenever I have time to put some time in uh, and ride this around. I am so excited that I have a helmet that's gonna match our giveaway bike. That's really cool. Got to install a shockwave. So yeah, if you ordered an Atlas 2.0, that's what you're gonna get in the box. I don't know, I don't think they come with shockwaves, but you can get a shockwave if you want. I don't know if they come with black visors, but all the ones I've ever gotten have come with black visors. So rock, you're cool for that. Okay, I guess now we're just gonna have to wait for the weather uh, to get better so we can ride in this thing. What's up everybody? So uh, I was editing that part of the video you just watched and I realized I literally did an unboxing video on a helmet and I didn't even try it on. So also, we've got the Atlas 2.0 here. My God, this thing is light. I also realized that I didn't grab my other Atlas helmet to like test it out and look at it next to each other. So I'm gonna remedy all those real quick right here. I have, actually, this is my motor vlogging helmet, which doesn't really make sense because we got a GoPro on the front. We got a little audio situation in the back. That's a bit heavier. Let me go grab my just flat black one. Okay, uh, back. So here, yeah, here we go. Atlas 2.0, Atlas 1.0. Major difference. You guys see the, it's gonna lock on my face. You guys see that little locking mechanism for the visor? Boom. New one is twist and lock. So you can do it by hand. It's pretty neat. Um, weight wise, they feel pretty similar, but the, it's insane to say this, the original Atlas feels a little heavier than this one. The reason I say it feels a little insane is because these helmets are already, they're carbon fiber and they're super light. All right, so you know how a second ago I was telling you how the visor rim fits a lot tighter? Look at this. What, I'm, what I want you to see is this area right here. Do you see how much space there is? There's next to none, right? Okay. This is Atlas 1.0. If you notice, these areas, not so much here at the top, but here on the sides, there's a little bit of air there and sometimes air can get in them. So like we've been riding around, we, I've been riding around like cold conditions. So you can feel every little bit of air. This helmet does have a ton of airflow. So in the winter time when it's super cold, it is a little chilly. This helmet should have way less of that. So what I mainly wanted to do is put this one on. So I'm gonna put the old one on first so I can understand. And the good news is I haven't really worn the first one or this version a lot. Uh, I usually wear my, my motor vlogging one, but uh, that way this same size and everything is that one. So I should get a really good comparison. Also, when you guys are putting on atlases, they always fit real tight up front, but then they, uh, once they get on, it actually feels correct. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that helmet. Fit, like fit and finish. There we go, fit looks on. And I would need to tighten that if I was gonna ride in it, but. Okay, yeah, <laughs> there's no problem with the Atlas 1.0. That feels super solid. Wait, let me put it back up, let me be fair. You guys see how the visor's not, this one's super tight down, so I'd have to loosen it some, but. So the visor's not perfect, but I mean like, this is the only helmet I, my motor vlogging helmet's the only helmet I ride in and I have no problems with the visor. So that was 1.0, let's try 2.0. Okay, I also noticed this little comfort padding here. All right, whoa, hold on. I don't know what they did in there, but putting this on feels so much, Oh, again, okay. 
<laughs> I'm discovering things as I'm, holy shit, this is a premium feeling helmet. Oh, dude. I don't know how, but this helmet is 100% lighter than the other one. And the inside feels like a freaking showy. Oh my god, this is awesome. Okay, hold on. I want to I want to show you guys something that's super important that uh, me and the guys in the shop. Can you guys tell how easy it is to take on and off? Sorry, I'm getting excited right now because I'm discovering this on camera, apparently. Okay, so, wow, I, I am, we're rolling, right? Okay, that's so awesome. So, uh, me and all my guys in the shop have rock helmets, and one thing that is slightly annoying when you put it on is you have to, hopefully you guys can see, these little pads that are supposed to go between your neck, it kind of like separates your neck and the pulley. You, but you see how much there is right here? They like cross over a lot. With the new one, the pulleys actually touch each other and you can literally see the material is a better material. I'm gonna pull one of the pads out of this one so we can look at the difference. So I don't know how much you guys are gonna be able to tell here, but the material that this is, which is what's touching your face, it's the same material that's on the inside on the pads, whatever it is feels so much more premium than the other one. Like when you just put it on. Also, speaking of putting it on, if you guys noticed when I put that one on, I told, I literally said it before I put it on, they fit kind of like this. So it's tight when you put it on, the Atlas 1.0, but then when you get it on, the helmet feels super secure. But whatever redesign they did on the shape of 2.0 just goes on, doesn't shake, and then these pads, see I'm pushing them together, that actually makes it so much easier to put on. Wow. I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm kind of glad I did it this way. I didn't plan. I literally just wanted to put the helmet on and show you guys like what it felt like and, you know, talk through that real quick. And I probably should have read the material that, of the upgrades, but if that helmet cost the same that the other one cost, that is a no brainer like so the original atlas wow i'm 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 sorry i know i'm all over the place i know the original atlas was like what 400 bucks this helmet feels like what helmet do i have this one feels like that premium brand this one feels like a showy you got clickies you got the locking shield pin lock you got remove like hand removable visor I don't really, I don't know what else they can add to it. I will say, I'm not going to review this helmet until I'm able to ride with it. So as, as surprised and shocked as I am right now, I, I do very much value being able to give you guys an independent third party honest review. So yeah, it's super comfortable putting it on. Yes, the visor seems absolutely amazing. Somehow it's lighter and feels like it has more premium materials, but I don't know how it rides, so I'm not going to review that just yet. So far, that's amazing. And I've spent the last, when did Rurok launch? Like six months ago? Since they've launched, I have worn nothing but my Rurok helmet and have had no regrets. I should probably do a long-term review. That actually doesn't make sense now that we're doing 2.0. Regardless, I love my Atlas 1.0. I really hope that the 2.0 does just the same as the first one because I will be in freaking riding heaven. Okay, that's all I got. We can cut back to Chase with a hoodie on and, and all that kind of stuff. I will have you guys a review of the 2.0 after I have some time to ride in it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that helped your decision in getting an Atlas 2.0. And now we'll cut back to Chase. We'll just, can I, this is going to look cheesy, but just go with it. So yeah, that's the uh, Rurok Atlas 2.0 unboxing. Now I'll do some pretty shots, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button for the Atlas 2.0, and uh, I'm Chase on two wheels, and I'll see you guys on the road with this thing. Let me know how I did on the unboxing video. I don't do many of these, but you know, maybe we could do more if you guys enjoy them. I am so ready to go ride in this helmet.